Hello, Vinyl Community and YouTube. Uh, what we have here uh, today on my tray is a box of Chinese junk. This is uh, my second um, digital uh, stylus gram scale. Um, first one I had lasted about nine months. Uh, the display went totally dead. And um, like this one, I think I paid about uh, nine bucks for it. Um, Friday afternoon, uh, <clears throat> this afternoon I was on YouTube and came across a uh, documentary about the price that uh, we've all paid for uh, superstores like uh, Walmart. And I think I think the documentary focused uh, primarily on Walmart and uh, what they've done to uh, the economy and really to the global uh, uh, geoeconomical uh, climate. And um, something like this, you're just not going to find it uh, made in America anymore. Those days are over. Um, you can see here, uh, this thing is um, cheaply packaged, uh, almost looks like a, um, the way it was uh, marked and packaged up, um, looks like something from the Cold War, but um, this took the slow boat to China, I think it took about uh, maybe two weeks to uh, arrive Bought it off of Amazon and was shipping and handling uh, nine bucks and change. And um, if this lasts like the last one, which was nine months, uh, it will cost me uh, about a buck a month. So I think we'll uh, we'll pull this out of its package and uh, I'll show you uh, what a piece of junk this thing is. Okay, so they call this thing a arm load meter. And you can see here's the uh, operation manual with the uh, Chinese and uh, English translations. Terrible, cheap looking fonts. Um, this thing is a joke. It is an absolute joke. They don't even t tell you how to put batteries in, in terms of polarity. Um, you see the, the Chinese uh, instructions, the American translation. Uh, if you can call it a translation, it really isn't. Um, it, it's horrendous. Um, this thing uses uh, two uh, lithium batteries, AG12s. Um, we'll pull this open. Oh, don't lose this. That is a uh, five gram weight that's used for calibration. But here we have it. Um, this is what Chinese junk looks like. And you guys are going to think that Honestly, I, I've got nothing against China. It, it's a communist country. I suppose I, I could have something against it uh, um, in terms of how they oppress their people. But, come on. These guys are making uh, a fortune off of uh, us. But we did this to ourselves. This is what we ask for. Uh, we want cheaper. Um, we got cheaper. And when I call this thing junk, it, it is made like absolute garbage. It, it is made like junk. It's accurate. I, I have no qualms about how it works. But what it does, you see... Arm load meter. Um, pretty soon they're not even going to, they'll probably try to save some money and not even print that uh, made in China because we can all assume everything is made there. There's the batteries. 
Um, of course, they don't tell you how to put these in, but uh, both batteries go in uh, plus side up. So we'll close that back up. In case you get one of these things and don't have a clue, this isn't going to help you. These instructions aren't going to tell you uh, a damn thing. They're not going to tell you how to put the batteries in, but that's how it goes in. We'll open this up. That's where our stylus goes, and uh, we'll go through that a little bit. Make sure you take the plastic protector that's on this tray off, because that is weight. I think it's like two one-hundredths uh, of a gram. We'll power it up, go through its uh, zeroing procedure, and look, there it is. It's zero. Um, yeah, I guess we'll get this thing on the turntable and uh, weigh some uh, stylus tracking. All right, so we're on the Audio Technica. Uh, ATLP 120 USB, of course, also made in China. I don't know where, um, I love this cartridge. It's the AT95E, which came with this turntable. I'm guessing that's made in China as well. I, I could be wrong, but uh, we're recording this on the uh, iPhone, uh, also made in China, but engineered in Cupertino um, thanks a lot Apple um, you know Apple for all they claim uh, of course Tim Cook would have you believe that uh, they save the planet but you know their hippy dippy culture um, oh, it's engineered in Cupertino but it's built in China so Let's give this thing a whirl. Uh, we'll power it up. It will go to zero. Does a self calibration. There we are. So I, I want to try to track this. Um, I should be at about two grams. So we're going to line it up. By the way, I like to do this uh, with the uh, platter mat off. I think it gives uh, more accurate results. We'll bring it slowly down onto the target. All right. <laughs> I don't think you can get closer than that. Um, some of you who are OCD might try to get it. it, it, it reduce those three one hundredths of a gram. Now we're up at four one hundredths of a gram. Guys, it's close enough. Honest to God, if, if you want to drive yourself mad and keep tweaking for those four one hundredths, go nuts. But we're, uh, we're at the proper weight. You see right here, two grams. Oh, we, we just went up five one hundredths. Um, we're going to carve up some vinyl. Uh, you know, guys, it's not tracking that heavily. I, I think we're in good shape here. So, um, just figured I'd show you this. Buy this thing at your own peril. It shuts off automatically after two minutes. Nine bucks on Amazon. Um, buy it at your own peril. Um, it's accurate, it's easy to use but it's going to die uh, in nine months. So hope you enjoyed this video.